Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel we will be filming cars, mainly VW cars, but whatever happens, happens. So let's go. Alright, so today we'll be reviewing a very special car which is my VW Polo. Polo Life TSI 1 liter. Is that just not beautiful? Sorry for the uh, video quality. I'm filming this on my Samsung A30s, so it's not really the best, but it'll, it'll have to do. Alright, guys, let me give you guys a little walk around of this car. Reminder I am filming this on my phone, which is not the best phone to do this, but we gotta make with what we got. I guess, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, so this is the brand new vw polo 8 tsi polo life polo life by the way with a three cylinder turbocharged engine making about 75 kilowatts all right all right so here are the options that i chose for this car the iq lights all right with dynamic turning signal i'll show you that in about a, a moment the diamond cut wheels which these are all options that i'm about to tell you guys these are all options they are not standard all right which obviously you have to pay quite a price for it but anyways anyways keeping it going we have the sunroof not panoramic just sunroof it does open and close all that it's not panoramic there's nothing at the back here which but i don't really know what the meaning of panoramic is so i'm just making excuses but this is that's another option the iq lights it does not have the turning signal in the front as in the back only but it's still quite it's quite pleasing still uh there it goes there it goes as you can see as you can see the dynamic daylight running bar right there i don't i'm not sure if it's for daylight or if it's just for uh aesthetic or something i'm not really sure but uh let me just put it into focus all right there we go all right all right then down here we have the fog lights and yeah yeah this is the brand new polo life let me show you guys on the inside all right going inside the brand new polo life it feels very solid black on the outer outer exterior i, I don't really know whatever it's black it looks nice it's glossy all right all right going inside Go inside, this is what it looks like. This is the standard infotainment. Alright, this is the standard Discover system entertainment with the standard media interface. Let me just uh, switch it on. There we go. Alright, alright. Let me just switch off the flash so you guys can see it better. Sorry, I mumble a lot so. But yeah, there it is. Let me just send down the volume for when my phone connects. Oh, oh my God. All right, so there, there you see it, there you see it. It has the standard sound system, which is, is quite decent. Doesn't have a lot of bass, but it's good enough. Lighting. Yeah, light, the lighting's good, lighting's good. And I mean, it's as good as lighting should be in a car. You know, you have your mirrors here as well on the upper apron. Uh, yeah, well, the the mirror itself is kind of, it's quite small, like in real life and everything, but it's nothing, nothing too massive. And yeah, welcome to the Polo Life. Polo Life, this is the manual, manual for the pros, you know. You know, not automatic for sissies. It is although cheaper than the DSG. The DSG comes as an option for the standard Polo Life and it comes as standard on the Polo R line and the GTI. Alright, just had to say that for you guys. The standard system. You know, steering wheels. I mean it's a it's it's a steering wheel. It, it's good enough, I guess. Uh, let me just say you guys, yeah. It's a good enough steering wheel. All right, and then oh wait, sorry about the lighting and everything. I mean, underground parking. I just got the car washed, so yeah. 
All right over here you have your climate system all that not automatic you know you have to set it and everything it's manual manual which i prefer personally i have used a brand new vw uh climate system the touch sensitive system i guess whatever it's not it's not the best i personally prefer the manual system as well as on the steering steering wheel since this is the standard steering wheel you you know you have the standard buttons you know you value your volume up and down you know change track all that you do have adaptive cruise control which for me personally i feel like that is a very luxury feature and to get that on a polo is quite special and yeah this is this is what we get you know standard wipers and, and everything this is a very solid car i have to say it is a very solid car all right then let's let's go to the back seat right then now as we go to the back seats i want people to hear how satisfying it is to open and close the doors just listen to that it is very solid very very solid it inspires you to just get in and out the vehicle like i don't know i don't know what to say all right get in getting in the vehicle all right uh you have this decent leg room i'm quite a short person i'm five foot four leg room is quite decent you wouldn't want to put any tall passengers in here yeah they would be quite uncomfortable you don't want to put them here for long trips this is quite a, it's a city car you know you only you take it from point a to point b really quick and get out that's the point of a polo or else you'd have a golf all right not the most comf not the most comforting seats all right sorry there's some stuff in the car of course this is my daily uh these are not leather seats these are fabric which are quite good are quite good they don't fade over time uh yeah yeah it's quite good as a fixed points for those of you who have kids but if you have kids i suggest getting your life in order because if you cannot afford a bigger car than this and you have kids you might have quite a problem all right so yeah sunroof you can see here from the back well i can't really reach to there to open it but it's quite decent there's a lot of light into the cabin uh it's less claustrophobic you know and yeah you have usb type c's in the front and at the back all right parking assist by the way i feel like i didn't say anything about that there is park park assist and it does park itself i don't know how to use it yet but yeah all right so the back seats good enough good enough for a small city car and yeah nothing massive not too comfortable but comfortable enough all right so just to give you guys a different view of the back seats this is what it looks like in the back can't say it's the best not the best but it's good enough it's good enough if you have tall people here at the back yeah even if you have someone tall in the front maybe driving you somewhere or something uh it will not be the most comfortable place to be yeah all right so now let's go into the trunk let's go let's see the things man mm. quite decent quite decent let me just turn the camera around for you guys all right so here is the trunk all right uh i'm not sure how many liters it is but it's it's big enough it's big enough to fit a large like carry bag i guess and this is a false photo there is another floor on the inside with your spare wheel and if your spare wheel is clean you can actually use this to hide stuff that you don't want being found if you get what i'm saying this is just an example i wanted to do this for you guys just to show you guys how big it is under the false floor and yeah it's relatively quite large quite large uh i mean i got a heel here a jersey another jersey i should probably put these in the top now but yeah look at that i didn't even position the heel properly did two heels by the way and i can still comfortably just close the false the false floor i'm sorry english is running away goddamn but yes 
that's I guess and it's not even deforming the heel or anything don't ask whose heels these are just know that these heels and yeah over here you have a little cubby here to keep some stuff when you're going out sorry about the noise what's going on sorry about that guys it was the securities who are riding their quad bikes but yeah so here are the lights when they're on looking amazing like oh my god oh and then there are the signals i don't know why it switches off these two when the signals go on but hey Volkswagen is Volkswagen they don't need a reason to do what they do but yes all right all right so before i forget uh since this is a full review let me show you guys the engine bay it's, it's quite disappointing to be quite honest it really is but hey let's go let me i'll turn the camera around for you guys just now so to open the hood you will need two hands since there is a latch over there which you're gonna need to turn to the left in order for it to work a black vw badge badge means that there is radar radar assist automatic cruise control all that that's what like if it's flat and it's black right then you should know that these sensors inside just know that all right let's let's open the hood uh, the hood has officially been open okay i'm not really sure where i'm supposed to put this so i'm just gonna put this there don't judge me all right i think this is you know just to make it softer i don't know maybe it's like part of sound technique. this is quite a quiet car when you're driving so yes all right little i don't know what car that is but all right anyways here is the turbocharged three-cylinder vw tsi engine it doesn't have a lot of noise so i'm not really gonna switch it on and rev it you know I haven't really broken in the engine yet, so I don't really want to do anything to like damage it necessarily. But uh, yeah, here's the engine, the batteries. If you know anything about engines, then you know engines. All right, this is what it looks like. All right, all right, into cooler, of course. I hope that's the cooling. I, I, I don't know, guys. I'm not good with like engineering stuff, okay? This just looks like an engine, and that's all I need to know. Three cylinder. I think I think that's where the engine is over there like I don't know I don't know but yeah all right all right guys so that is it this was my review of the 2022 VW Polo Life 1 liter manual by the way 1 liter manual uh 3 cylinder TSI yeah yeah I hope you guys like this review and please be sure to subscribe and like I tried my best, I tried my best and hopefully I will do more for you guys.